My name is Cara Ricketts, and I'm playing Ruth in The Homecoming. Ruth is in a relationship that is at its end. It really is. Like, I think she and Teddy had both possibly been trying to work at something, and now they both realize it isn't working, and it's hit this kind of stalemate that relationships get into where people are just kind of always poking at each other, but not brave enough to just wrap it up. Teddy believes that he's listening to his wife, but not really hearing her or not meeting her needs or just not connecting to her. And all of a sudden she meets Lenny who challenges her directly. All of a sudden she's got to be on top of her toes and trying to figure out where he's coming from and trying to realize if he actually is trying to attack her verbally, you know? The thing that's different about the homecoming is that it's not so direct. It's not this is the story we're going to tell. This is the setup and, you know, this is the person you've got to follow in the story. There's none of that. It's just come and watch this moment of reality theater, to put it in a really bad way, you know, like come and watch these people live. And at no point do we cater to the audience. At no point it's, is, it, it, is it a setup for a laugh or a, a moment where we're supposed to hit the audience. It's just like we come in and we agree to tell this story and depending on where the audience is at, then that's just the way they're going to react. The audience response is my favorite part of the show. Easily. Easily it's my favorite part of the show because the show changes the audience. The show is in such a, a place of your own interpretation of the moment that you end up getting a lot of talkers, a lot of commentators, a lot of people laughing, but not laughing out loud. It's more like, did he just say that? It's hitting people at their core in such a way that it gets them to talk aloud in, in a situation that normally everybody assumes that you're not supposed to say anything. You're supposed to be quiet until you have your chance to applaud or until we do something as a group. You're intimate with yourself as your character because you're trying to really feel through what they're feeling. You're intimate with Harold Pinter as the writer because you're trying to understand where his stories are and what his ideas are. And then it's also intimate in that the audience are reacting the way that they do and we're all in this space together and we're all going on this incredibly slow train wreck, <laughs> you know? And just seeing how we feel as human beings afterwards. Even meeting audience members after the show, it's, it's not just, oh, it was a great show. It was like, hey, do you mind spending 15 minutes and let's just discuss what, what, what I just saw? Because I don't really know what happened. And it's neat. It's just, it's more human in a way to me.